Front forks, what's the difference? Conventional, like this Kawasaki here, or upside down, like this monster here? Well, if you come with me, I'll show you. Okay, well, to make it easy, got a couple of forks taken apart here. Here is what we call a conventional fork. You've got a big chrome stanchion there, and there you've got the slider. Here's a bump, that slides up this one. What do we do with upside downers? Well, would you believe we turn them the other way up? And that's what's happened with this one. See here, you've got your slider sliding up there inside this massive tube. So in effect, this one actually becomes the stanchion and you're sliding up inside it. Now, why do we do that? It's all about rigidity. If I take this over to this stripped down VFR here, see, this has got its conventional forks on there. So just as I said, it's got the chrome tube up there, just like that, clamped into these yokes, one there, one at the top. What happens when you put the front brake on? The forks tend to flex, and in fact, they really do flex. And you can actually get this tube bending slightly. Now, you don't want that, especially on a race bike. So if you turn it round and clamp in effect this bit, which is here, in these yokes, dead rigid, you're going to get very little flexing. And that's why we've got upside down forks. 